Okay, but the big question on everybody's lips. Yeah, yeah their chap lips. On their chap lips, chap right. Lips. Do you think Phil's going to come out and see his shadow? Punks a Tony Phil. That's right, Woodchuck Chuckers. It's Groundhog Day. Hello, good morning, and welcome back to Prey. I am Doden, your host, as always. So. Ooh, um, threw us for a loop in the last episode. I don't know what if we accomplished anything. I didn't realize this door was there before. Neat. Ooh, many little red packet envelopes. Ooh, we went to Austin. Mm -hmm, look at us. Great Wall of China. Kennedy Space Center. Um, Soichi? I don't, where's the, is that where the, I can't remember the name of where the Russian space sender is. Um, so, I, I reviewed the tape just to make sure this is, it is the same day. This is saying it's the same day. And that's, there's stuff in here that we didn't loot before. We're going to loot now. And, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Warning, neuromods should only be administered by certified trans star technicians under controlled conditions. Subjects may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eyes shortly afterwards. Remove neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Pressure, press rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Okay. Keep eye open to press orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against the eye for five minutes. Dispose of used Neuromod in provided biohazardous bag. Alright. That seems... Um, so I'm wondering this time if there isn't something that we shouldn't... Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to... Can I... <clears throat> It's like, it's like, drop it at your feet or throw it a thousand miles away. Um, okay, no, that's what, that's what we read. Okay. Um, speech synthesis and natural language generation. Excerpt from chapter three of speech synthesis and natural language generation by Sebastian Smythe. <clears throat> Sebastian Smythe. Voice conversations. Technology enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their sorts of entirely new voices. Without the need for exhaustive recordings, the pre and pre processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the converse, conversion function and limitations in processing power. Okay. I don't know what that voice was, but it was a there was a voice. Uh can't grab that. Can't grab that. Mm -mm -mm. Climb on the desk. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, we have different email today. I have six emails. I had fewer emails yesterday. Danger leave now. EOM. From January. Oh, that's oh mouse wheels. Mouse wheels are the thing. I don't know what I did. Uh, okay. Don't don't mouse wheel. Uh, inventory. I. Oh, there we go. Okay. Objectives. No objectives. Data. No data. No. Um. The books that we read become notes. Email. Good. Audio logs. Research. Okay. Inventory. I don't know if there is a crafting system that we have yet to discover or not, but we will once again grab everything we can. Jammed. Damn it. Um, let's just read all the things. Oops. Engineering control systems. The um, excerpt from uh, the afterward of engineering control systems by Sven Child. <clears throat> 
there's a metaphor here. You know, typically, the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output reference signal. The difference between the actual and desired outputs error signal is applied as feedback to the input of the system to bring the actual output closer to the reference. Good control systems and good engineers learn from the past. Good. Okay. F. Oh, I got lean controls. Ooh. Um... Principles of Neuroscience, 10th edition. Excerpt from Principles of Neuroscience, 10th edition. The brain, once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes, processes <clears throat> such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell, paved the way for an eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules, microtubules, that's a word, <clears throat> of neurons. Tubule, that, that's not how, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that word. <laughs> Maybe it's because I can't say it. Maybe that's why I wouldn't use it, but that's... I, uh, mm -hmm. Excerpt from Chapter 1, Consciousness, The Fire in the Equation, by Dr. Stuart Penrose. The nature of uh, consciousness remains deeply mysterious. Uh, how can the subjective nature of experience, um, my inner life, uh, be explained in science terms? Uh, does consciousness emerge uh, from complex computations uh, among brain neurons, or is it a function of um, irreducible property woven into the fabric of uh, uh, the universe? Okay. Introduction to Survey of Paralogical Meta-Analysis. F. Wrong button. <clears throat> For example, conducting a meta-analysis of over 2,000 Gansfeld trials wherein the participants are subjected to mild sensory deprivation in order to test for telepathy reveals a hit rate of 39%. These results are statistically significant, meaning that the success rate is above what could be explained by chance alone. There is no denying it. Something spooky is going on. <clears throat> Isn't it? Midnight Songs, a classic anthology by the, of Tang Dynasty Verses. Interesting. I can't read that. Sorry. I appreciate the effort, though. I hope that it's important to something. Okay, we're just we're just throwing stuff now. Um. Okay. Okay. Do I need to tie? Close the door. Lights on. Alright, still, still my socks in the middle of the room. Flush toilet, we didn't do that last time. How many toilet scrubbies do I need? Why do I need two toilet scrubbers? How bad, how messy of a toilet am I leaving? Goodness gracious. Okay. Mail. More books. Let's read them all. Cooking, which we've already read. Note, congrats, okay, here's the champagne, I'm gonna drink it. Uh, yeah, yeah, what now? Get drunk. Nothing in the cabinet. Stuff in the fridge, take all that. Oh, I got G cabinet stuff. No, nothing. More cabinets. Nothing. Cabinets. Um, what is this? Bag of emergency glucose. Emergency glucose? Uh, okay. What is this? A bag of vegan jerky made from jammin' tomatoes. The jammin'. Take all. Good, good. Okay. Uh, cup of coffee. More of cooking thing, which I think we read. Let's just look at it, because we can... 
All right, is there anything that anybody can see obviously that we could have clicked on and yet didn't? Hmm. Can't get outside. All right. Um, the email told us to run, so let's uh, let's go. Let's run away. Do we put on our suit? I suppose we do. It's the only way to go. Sip of water while we dress. All right. Door still locked. V to toggle your flashlight. Um. Bench? Why are you weird? So, why are you. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Okay, but how do I get out? There used to be a wall. There, that wall never used to be there. Okay, do I, I break the window? Break the window. <sighs> okay, I'm freaked out. I knew some stuff was moved around. Good. Incoming call. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. It's a note. Uh, 07 to 7.30 sleeping. Wakes up, turns off alarm. Good. 7.32 checks transcribe. Alright. 55 on computer, various tasks. Takes shower. Were you watching me take a shower? Puts on uniform. Exits apartment. Okay. That was from the 23rd? That was days ago. That was weeks ago. Okay, what did it say my objections were? Um, break out, get to the main lobby. There's also some screaming going on. I'm not a big fan of screaming. Leverage three. Okay, I require an upgrade, it seems. Frayed wires. Something else. Um, I want to go this way. Observation. No, I don't. I want to go the other way. I want to go the other way. I want to go the other way. The arrows are pointing me this way. I want to go against the arrows. Dude, they can see right into my house. This is my kitchen. Okay. Okay, what was I meant to just see there? Replacement prop storage. <gasps> it's the wine. Torch. Teeth torch. Afraid wires. Afraid not. Not a lot of bottle champagne there. How? So how long have I been? Yeah, I'm just doing one for the road. Um, how long have I been in the simulation for? I mean, obviously since February 23rd, which would be five twenty days ago. Warning: Do not open door while simulation is in progress. Huh. Maybe <laughs> the simulation in progress. Um, I keep hearing sort of scary music, but. Ah. Exit. 
the helicopter. It's a simulation too. All right, is this all the same? There was a hidden thing. Okay, so is this just do this? Oh, wrench. Uh, the hep. Hephaestus Hefty Twist and Loop Handle Wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed by Transtar facilities. Good for liberal application of precision maintenance and mechanical ad agitation. Use mouse one to swing your wrench. Important, press and hold mouse one to charge your attack for maximum damage against machinery. Um, all wrench attacks, I can wobble my screen. Um, drain your stamina. Okay, I take it that means I need to wrench something in a moment? Are you going to make me wrench something? I would rather not. Okay, so this is the other side of that room. Okay. Uh, SKU number. Fabrication department. Marking this, this entire SKU is as defective... Investigate with Fabrication Marco. Okay. Strange, strange. Password is ICOP0876. Good. Remind, reminder, reminder about Kempany. <clears throat> this is just a friendly reminder that the relevant pro portion of Policy Handbook 2.7 Password Protection do not share your password with anyone. Passwords are sensitive, confidential information. Passwords must not be inserted into email messages, transcribed <coughs> conversations, uh, or other forms of communication. Do not write down the password and store them anywhere in your office. If a suspect, if you suspect your password has been compromised, report it to IT immediately. Uh, users will be held responsible for any activity that occurs on workstations that have been compromised uh, and not reported. Interesting. Oh, I damaged it. Um, all. A note about this morning. Um, I don't remember what Alex... Oh, Alex is voiced... Okay, I remember what Alex is... Alex, I think Alex is voiced by... Um... Khan from Marco Polo. Netflix's Marco Polo. Um... Kubrick... Kubrick Khan? Anyways... I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elazar, Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project, Addicts U. Um, the test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. Okay, oh. Debriefing safe. It wasn't, that wasn't the code. Okay. <clears throat> we will try the code that we use on our luggage. One, two, three, four. It wasn't one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, I presume that we will figure that out at some point. Okay. Somehow the note that was over here, is now on the floor. That's fine. Okay, let's look for a four-digit code. Okay, let's head... Let's leave. Let's run away. Um... Elevator for... Helicopter first. Oh, it's weird. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Is this really... Uh. Hi. Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Uh huh. Be careful what you pick up. Okay. So, be careful what to pick up, you say? Alright, I can be careful what to pick up. Look at that cough cup, ain't picking that up. Fuck you. <clears throat> I know it about this morning. Morgan's behavior. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan, nor do we. Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything about the last test we expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charging personality drift before future tests in debriefings and within the test itself. Interesting. Don't worry, I got all the crumpled paper, guys. We are going to throw some crumpled paper at somebody. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, that's gonna have to do it for this episode while we walk away from whatever the fuck that thing is. And it's scariness. Until next time, ciao, I love you. Good night.